In uh, methods uh, part one, we looked at how we could create uh, methods without uh, return values and uh, without uh, any parameters. In this video, we will look at how we can pass uh, values to the parameters that uh, the methods can use inside its body. We will uh, continue with the previous example where we had uh, two buttons, one to show a picture and uh, another one to hide it. And we also had a, a button where we could start uh, blinking. Now we will introduce two uh, new buttons, angry and uh, happy, to demonstrate uh, the use of parameters. In design mode, I double click on angry and I see that the click event handler is created for this uh, button. Earlier we created a method named um, show picture. I can uh, uh, use control X to um, cut and um, paste it just uh, above this uh, new click event handler, just so, uh, so that we can see them both uh, at the same time. I can go back to design mode and also click on this uh, happy button so that we also have uh, uh, an um, event handler for this button. To show uh, this picture happy.png, I could call this uh, method show uh, picture and I need the parentheses and a semicolon. When uh, somebody clicks uh, this uh, BTN happy button, uh, the program will jump into this um, event handler, call show picture, jump to this method and um, run these instructions. And the picture happy.png will be loaded and shown in the picture box. But uh, I have one problem now, because I want to show another picture if um, the btn angry uh, button is um, clicked. And if I call this method in this um, event handler, like we did down here, it will also jump up here when somebody clicks uh, this button. And exactly the same thing will happen. It will uh, show the happy.png picture. To be able to show different pictures, um, I want to create a new method. But I will create a new method with the same name because as uh, long as we use a different set uh, of parameters we can um, create as many methods with the same name as we want. So we can uh, copy this one, Control c and uh, Control v to paste it. And inside here I, I get an error because we have two uh, methods with the same um, name and uh, uh, equal parameter set, which here means uh, no parameter at all, at all. But inside here we will uh, define a parameter where we can pass this file name, which is a string. And because it's a string, we also have to declare a parameter that is so, uh, the data type string. And we name it file name. The name stored in the file name variable is now uh, what uh, the load uh, method needs to um, load uh, the correct picture. So we just uh, delete um, happy png and replace it with the file name variable. So when we call uh, this uh, show picture with a file name, it will be passed to this parameter and then we can use it inside the method. So the next uh, thing we will uh, do is to um, call this uh, method. First, I uh, declare a variable of kind of uh, type string. I can call it file name one. And uh, file name one will be assigned uh, the value angry.png, which is the name of the file that contains the picture I want to show when somebody clicks this btn angry and this uh, click event handler is uh, executed. I call my method by uh, writing the name of it. Its name is show picture and I can see here that um, it is two uh, methods with that name. And that is because we have created uh, two versions, two overloaded versions of this method. And uh, the first one is without parameters, as we see. And if I click uh, to see the next one, I can see that uh, this is uh, a method with, um, with a string parameter, which is uh, the method we have um, created here. And we have to pass uh, the file name, which is uh, stored in this file name one variable. So that's uh, all we have to do. Now, with this um, 
a method will be uh, will be called. The program will continue to run uh, this method, and it will pass uh, the file name angry png here, and this angry png will be loaded. And exactly the same um, instructions is what we need for um, the other event handler btn happy, except that we need to define another file name. Now we want to uh, show the file named um, happy.png in the picture box. So uh, when we call this show picture here, uh, this file name one will contain happy.png, which will be passed to this file name parameter, and then file name happy.png uh, will be shown in the picture box. So that was an example of passing values to, uh, to parameters to make um, methods more flexible to use.